Right, welcome back everybody, Matt here. Um, so over the last couple of weeks I've been carrying on with my uh, English Civil War um, project and uh, just thought I'd give you a hobby update since it's been a week or so since I posted and just show you what I've been up to. So, uh, I've been carrying on with the bloody miniatures. My last uh, video was bloody miniatures and it was basically a group of um, dismounted um, troopers who I was going to use as... Uh, uh, dragoons okay so these are um, their halberdiers so they're probably going to be used for something like forlorn hope or possibly personal bodyguard I painted them in orange which is the uh, colors of the Earl of Essex because I want them to basically be part of his his army okay so they're really nice sculpts as you'd expect from bloody miniatures oh broke that one okay as you'd expect from bloody miniatures so you know, absolutely fantastic um, detail on them, sculpting. I couldn't be uh, more happy with them, really, in the way they came out because, you know, Richard over there at Bloody Miniatures and, of course, you know, Nick, who's doing the, the sculpting, they're doing a fantastic job. And, uh, you know, if you want some really kind of um, character-heavy um, personalities for your uh, English Civil War army, I suggest you get over there. Okay, so they come in a variety of different poses and with a variety of different um, uh, colours or rather different um, halberds. I'm sorry it's a little bit dark, the light, the, the sun was out and now the sun has gone back in, somewhat screwing up my uh, video in. Okay, but hopefully you can get a sense of the way these look. Okay, um, at the moment. Okay, so lots of different poses. Uh, several different helmets so there's about four different types of helmets there's about four different types of halberds and spears and basically you swap them out between them you know you can mix and match them all the halberds are separate okay the hands are already drilled they're already kind of you know uh, socketed a little bit like old action man hands okay where they're all already gripping and all you do is you just slide the halberd or the spear into the hands, okay, and then just glue it in place. So it's really simple. So there's no kind of fiddly gl uh, drilling through hands, okay, uh, and all the halberds are metal as well. So they're going really, really easily, um, and they're they're the right proportions as well. One thing you you get a lot with these kind of figures is the um, unfortunately the proportions are a little bit out sometimes, aren't they? Okay, you might get just add a bit more light if I can because I've lost the light there. Okay, one thing you get is um, you sometimes get the halberd is too big or too clunky looking, but the proportions on these are absolutely excellent. I think I think they're absolutely brilliant. So these are the basically they're called the Forlorn Hope on the Bloody Miniatures website, and uh, they're essentially probably meant to be the guys who run in at the start and kind of try to break the pipe blocks you know go along go in with the dragoons and with the uh, commanded shot and basically fight their way in to the uh, to the opposition trying to kind of break the ranks before the uh, the pipe blocks move in okay now what I might use them as is um, kind of personal bodyguard of the Earl of Essex because I did read that he had um, he had a personal bodyguard of halberdiers. Now, unfortunately, I found out that they actually wore grey. They didn't wear the kind of tawny orange of the Earl of Essex's foot. So that's a bit of a mistake, but it doesn't matter. You know, still nice, and I could still use them for personal bodyguard if I need to. Another thing that also occurred to me when I was painting them is they've. Uh, because the hands are open, you can pretty pretty much put anything in the hands. So, for example, I could probably put in there a um, a wire pike. Okay, so instead of using the uh, the halberds, I could probably just put pikes in there. And so you could turn the entire uh, set, the entire unit, into a um, a pike block. So if you had, they come in groups of four. So if you order sixteen of them. And give them pikes, then you've got a pike block. They're all the they're all the right um, positions and uh, poses for a pike block. You've got you know thrusting and uh, marching 
okay and kind of presenting the pike as well so I'm thinking about doing that so I'm thinking about getting maybe another 16 more and then giving them pikes and turning them into a pipe block okay so they are the uh, basically these are going to go into my Earl of Essex regiment and they are going to be my forlorn hope and potentially my um, probably my bodyguard for the Earl of Essex on the battlefield as well so they might stay with him or I might put them with the dragoons and with the uh, the commanded shot uh, with the flintlock storming party that I've also painted up and probably sent put them at the front use them as skirmishers and forlorn hope okay so very 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 nice models as you'd expect from bloody miniatures I can't I tell you what I can't praise these guys enough I just absolutely love what they do okay and it might sound like I'm going on about it a lot but you know for 28 mil characterful ECW figures they are really nice and I hope that he's going to bring out a few more soon okay so what else have I been doing well I've been basically doing quite a lot on um, command bases okay so just move these guys around because I'm kind of it's a really sunny day here, but the sun keeps going away occasionally. So we've got two command bases. So the first one on the left there, this is the Earl of Essex, okay, with his uh, with a standard bearer, okay. So uh, old, good old Robin, as he was uh, called by his troops. I actually bought a book on him that's coming in a few days' time, and it suggests that he wasn't as... Uh, bad a general and bad a tactician as everybody suggests he was and he was actually beloved by his men so this is a bicorn miniature okay on a horse and that's another bloody miniature okay that i have used i basically drilled through the guy's left hand on this because he's not intended to hold something and i've given him the standard now i know it's a uh, infantry standard okay it's not the Earl of Essex's personal standard, and it's also not a cavalry standard, okay? But I just wanted to, I just like the standard, so I'm giving it to that guy. So I would imagine, what I would say to you is, imagine that one of his uh, foot soldiers with the standard is running past the Earl, shouting, hurrah for good old Robin, okay? As he runs by, okay? And there he is now. It's quite interesting, all the figures that I've seen of the Earl of Essex are quite plump, quite dumpy looking guys. And if you look on uh, Wikipedia and on the internet, he was a really skinny guy. He was really skinny, tall, uh, with black hair, and he looked a bit like Dracula. Okay? He looked a bit like a vampire. He was really skinny. So I haven't seen any figures that actually kind of represent him correctly as, um, as the way he actually looked in real life. But I'm not worried about that. I'm not a button counter so I'm not uh, not too bothered so there's the Earl of Essex so he's going to command the overall army so he is my army commander he's going to be my general okay and there he is alongside his um, forlorn hope okay now the other guy that I painted is this guy this is uh, Lord Brooke or Colonel Brooke okay so Colonel Brooke um, uh, he's going to be one of my regiment commanders so I'm going to do another regiment uh, with Colonel Brooke okay now this figure I'm not sure where I got this figure from it came with like a bunch of stuff that I ordered last year it was a bit of a um, the, guy, the guys at um, Black Dragon my local uh, game shop where I get my stuff from basically I ordered the uh, starter battalion for English Civil War and this was in there they kind of plopped this in there for me you know as a little thank you and um, I'm not sure where it came from but it's a nice figure I think he might, he might actually supposed to be Cromwell or something like that. But I'm using him as uh, Lord Brook here. Again, the standard bearer. Now, the standard bearer is from Empress. And the uh, the horse is from Empress as well. And basically, this is part of the, uh, the Dragoon... The Dragoon um, horse holders set. Okay, so got about eight horses, a couple of horse holders... Um, but I thought he'd look really, he'd look really nice on this, um, on this command base. Okay, just trying to get the light there. Okay, yeah. Okay, so Lord Brook, 
So again, okay, I know it's a um, uh, military, uh, an infantry standard, but it is this at least this time, it is the colonel standard, okay, because it hasn't got the uh, the star on it, okay. Now, um, what else can I say about Lord Brook? Well, basically, I'm intending to have four regiments in my army, so I'm going to have um, Lord Brook's regiment, Philip Skippen's regiment. Hutchinson's regiment and Essex's regiment with Essex as the overall um, army commander. So four all together. Okay. I've already got Hutchinson's and Skippen's. In fact, I've got two regiments for Skippen already um, painted in the uh, earlier colours of the red with the yellow and then the later colours when they kind of amalgamated and joined with the new model army with the red and the, and the blue. Okay, and I've also got Hutchinson's painted up as well. So I'm, I need now, I need to get hold of more another battalion starter set from Warlord, and probably get and then paint up the purple and the orange for Essex and uh, Brook, which I'm really looking forward to because I love the purple colours um, that I'm managing to get, and I love the orange colours that I'm kind of getting. I'm using um, uh, Games Workshop um, orange. Okay. And using Games Workshop Purple, and and I'm just loving the effect that I'm getting from those colours. So I can't wait to paint those up. Okay, I'm, but I'm not going to buy any at the moment. Why? Because I'm still working on the rest of my bloody miniatures. So I've still got a few bloody miniatures to paint up. Bought a few, obviously, a while ago. So these are another group of um, dismounted um, troopers. Okay, there's a couple of the extra different ones in there as well. And then these are some uh, a couple of mounted um, command from Empress miniatures. So this one is, uh, I think this one is the uh, Earl of Essex again. Okay, but I'm going to use him as um, probably use him as Hutchinson. Okay, I'm not going to use him as the Earl of Essex. I'm going to use him as Hutchinson, unless this guy's Philip Skippen from Empress miniatures, and I am actually going to use him as. Philip Skippen. Okay, so those two. That that's my uh, uh, that's Hutchinson and Skippen, and then uh, Essex and Brooks. So by the time I've finished, I will have four command bases. Okay, for my for my army. Okay, so I'm actually loving doing the command bases. I think I just really enjoy doing that. Another project I'm working on at the moment is uh, is this. Okay, this big boy. Whoa, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I think this is probably the biggest cannon I've ever painted. I I I've got four um cannon already. I've got two minions and two um um two I think I've got two demi cauldrons. Okay. Um and this is a I think this is a, a demi cannon, yeah, it's huge. It's not it's not stuck on yet because I've not got the uh, the crew to go with it. Okay, but I'm basically just putting this together at the moment. It's nowhere near finished. Okay, so ignore all this. Okay, I'm just basically starting to build up a um, a readout at the front for it, and then I've got the crew coming from Bicorn. This is a Bicorn cannon, by the way. Okay, so this is from Bicorn miniatures. Um, I've got the crew coming from Bicorn, which I'm going to put around the cannon. So that is my next. Um, my next thing to finish, okay. So I'm hoping the Bicorn crew will probably. Uh, it's bank holiday now, so I've got a horrible feeling they might not turn up until Tuesday, unless they turn up today. It's only about ten o'clock now, so eleven o'clock. So um, they could turn up today. If they do, I'm going to paint those up, get those on there, okay. And I did buy another cannon from uh, uh, Bicorn as well, and that was a demi cannon. Okay, so I've got a demi cannon, culverin, um, two minions, and two demi culverins now. So I've got six cannon all together for this army. So I'm really going to need to start uh, getting pulling my finger out and painting these up. Okay, although I'm making pretty good progress, although I say so myself. Okay, so this is yeah. So this is basically a hobby update on the uh, English Civil War army. So we've got the Forlorn Hope of the Earl of Essex's regiment. We've got the command base for Lord Brooke. 
and we've got the command base for the Earl of Essex himself, Old Robin. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what I'm up to at the moment. I'll keep you updated again soon. And I'm just going to go off now, and I'm going to prime up and start to sp uh, paint up another 12 Lanchnecks, because they're also on the go at the moment. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you soon.